everybody, it's Jasmine and welcome back to another Battle of the Blank video. Today we are going to be battling the Tarte Foundations. I have all four of the Tarte Foundations. So that's going to be Face Tape, Amazonian Clay, Rainforest of the Sea, as well as Found Sealer. This broke on me so I had to transfer it to this little tub here but you know I still wanted to show you guys the packaging. If you're unfamiliar with this series on my channel, essentially I go through a specific category of a specific brand and I just nitpick all of the differences between all of the items just so you guys know the differences between them. So they are going to be a little bit more harsh, I would say, a little bit more in depth, but honestly it's just to help you guys out if you guys are in the stores and you guys just don't know what to buy or you're just overwhelmed with something. So for this foundation review, I wanted to talk about my skin type. I wanted to show you guys the application and I also wanted to show you guys what it looks like at the end of the day. I also want to talk about the claims of everything as well as my personal opinions about these foundations. I have been testing everything out for about a month, maybe a month and a half now. Um, so I have a lot to say, but I don't want to ramble. So first of all, I am a normal skin type. I like to hydrate my skin. Now to prep my skin for this video, I did my normal skincare routine. For my primer, I I use the Juno Moonshine Primer for all of these foundations and to layer on top of that I didn't do a whole bunch. I only really did my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because I wanted to stay within Tarte and then I only set the concealer with a little bit of powder, nothing else. So I hope that this was really helpful and let's go ahead and start with the Tarte Face Tape. If you guys remember, Tarte released a Shape Tape foundation way back when, and they literally had three deep shades, and they quickly took that off the market, and they released the newer foundation, which is called the Face Tape. Now, this one's going to retail for $39. All of the Tarte foundations are $39, and this one just claims to be a formula inspired by the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is supposed to be hypoallergenic, long-wearing, full coverage. It mattifies, it hydrates, and brightens the skin. It has 50 shades with five undertones. Personally, this texture is my favorite. It's not too watery. It's not too thick. It's right in the middle. Once you apply it, it offers medium to full coverage right away. It has a healthy glow, but you don't look dewy or you don't look oily and you don't look too matte either. It kind of just has that perfect in between um, finish. I feel like if you are comparing this formula with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, this is just the same exact formula in my opinion, but just a little bit more hydrating. It does self set just like the concealer. So you essentially skip your powder step, which is absolutely amazing. If I could do my full beat with one less step, that is amazing. At the end of the day, I had more of a demi matte finish. All foundations that I wore, I was wearing it through extreme heat and a lot of sweating. So to look like this at the end of the day was honestly really amazing. I really love the finish. I love the feel on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. And I think that throughout the day, it was just so consistent. I could tell you right now that the face tape is my favorite out of all of the other foundations that I will be reviewing today. Um, and I just feel like this is definitely one that I did didn't expect to like. I actually really expected to hate it because of how non-inclusive they were when they first released this line. It was just so embarrassing. Like I had secondhand embarrassment from them. I just couldn't believe that they just completely favored the lighter skin tones and didn't even consider doing enough for the darker, deeper complexions. But I'm really happy to see that they did fix it and they did actually change the formula. They had two formulas back then and now it's just one. So I'm really happy that they decided to change and this is actually a really good foundation. So I highly recommend it. Also, I wanted to note that the Tarte claims are all of the same through the foundations that I want to mention. So Tarte has this thing called a 12 hour power. They're vegan, hypoallergenic. Uh, they all are hydrating as well as transfer proof, waterproof, and sweat proof. Now I feel like with a lot of the foundations, I feel like some of them don't meet up to those claims. So I want to go ahead and move on to the next one. 
The next foundation is the Babasu Found Sealer Skin Care Foundation SPF 20, which is vegan and a skincare infused foundation. Now this one is supposed to help hydrate and give the appearance of plumper skin while minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Again, it has that SPF 20 so it protects your skin from the external factors such as UV. And it's also formulated with the Babasu as well as essential fatty acids and antioxidants. Now this one you can can go from light coverage all the way to light medium coverage that's what they say but I feel like this one just gives a solid medium coverage I think upon first use it was so similar to the face tape I literally thought I was using the exact same thing but the only difference was that this foundation has SPF and it smells like SPF it's very unpleasant and I also noticed that the other couple of times that I was using this it oxidized on my face I didn't really notice it until I was like looking at myself um, from using it on one side of my face to the other I noticed that it started to look orange but on my yellow skin orange doesn't really look too crazy it's kind of like oh she's a little different but you know if you were neutral or a cool undertone you would definitely notice the difference so it's not my favorite but I feel like at the end of the day it looked pretty good I definitely can say that I looked very healthy I looked very youthful but at the same time if I touched my skin it was very sticky almost like as if I did like a sticky primer right on top of my foundation. It was just stick city and that wasn't my favorite. Uh, so overall, I don't think that this is something that I would recommend. It smells weird, it oxidizes, it feels sticky at the end of the day. I feel like there are so many things that this could just improve on and I think it just might be that skincare that's inside. I think the skincare really alters the way that this foundation performs. This foundation also only has 30 shades so you know like what's the point like I don't know this one's just not worth it we have all seen this foundation on the market, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This one has SPF 15, which is really appreciated. I really love the fact that Tarte actually implements SPF into their foundations. I haven't noticed any major flashbacks with the implementation of SPF, which is really nice. Now this one claims to be oil-free, vegan, matte, and it's also going to breathe life back into your skin, even though it is matte. Um, I really like this because it makes my skin look absolutely flawless. I think from the moment I apply it all the way to the end of the day, it looks the exact same. I do have to say though that when I did the after shot of the end of the day, the nose area did rub off because I was wearing a mask, which I mean, is to be expected because I didn't even powder that area. But for the most part, this foundation, I could guarantee that I would travel with it because of how foolproof it is. I really like applying it with a sponge. I know a lot of people have told me that they really prefer this with a brush, but I'm just not a brush person. So when I used it with a sponge, I found that I had an airbrush finish. I love the way I looked. Um, I think the only con that I would have is that if I had any major acne spots on my skin or if I had any little hairs on my mouth like my little mustache that I did not shave off it would make it so much more noticeable because it's just so matte I would recommend if you are dry or you are normal like I am to really hydrate your skin beforehand so that it doesn't look super crazy I love the way that it looks on my skin and it's the foundation that I'm wearing today while I'm filming this part of the video Last but not least, we have this watery foundation called the Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. This is a medium coverage, naturally radiant finish foundation. It's a water-based formula to nourish your skin and it will also feel very weightless. It has an antioxidant protection to help prevent sign of aging and it has pollution defense for a fresh and radiant complexion. And it also has a non-chemical sunscreen. So it's supposed to not really give flashback and it's not really gonna give you a white cast either. I really like this. I think that when I apply it, it's a very foolproof foundation. This is something that I would say is very reminiscent 
to the Born This Way from Too Faced, very hydrating on the skin, but can set itself to a certain extent, but then you have to wear powder with it if you want it to last all day. I really like this because it just feels like your skin, but better at the end of the day. It just makes you look and feel hydrated and you look really healthy. I love the fact that you do get that SPF in there and that it has other um, ingredients to help with pollution and to help the skin look its best. Now I did find a little bit of creasing under the eyes but that's totally fine. I wasn't like looking super crazy at the end of the day. It was just a little bit. So I wanted to mention that again, it is something that I feel like is an easy everyday foundation. If I were back in school, this is going to be like an everyday foundation for me. Um, but for now, because I have been indoors and because it's been really hot outside and because I've been wearing a mask, this isn't ideal for that situation. Now to round out my thoughts on like the best to worst, I would definitely have to say my first place is the face tape. I know, crazy. Second place would definitely be Amazonian clay. I really do love this. I think this is something that might be now tossed into my travel bag because I trust it. The next one would definitely be the Rainforest of the Sea because it's just basic. It's like your basic necessity foundation. And then the last one would definitely be the Found Sealer um, with all of the reasons I stated earlier with the oxidation as well as the smell. And just like that, you guys, we are completed with today's Battle of the Foundations video featuring Tarte Foundations. I didn't note this, but I bought these all myself. I don't think Tarte even knows who I am. Um, they, they commented on like one photo of mine and I felt like I was like the person. I was like, yes, like I made it. Um, and then they never talked to me since. Uh, so I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. These battle videos take me a really long time to test out things and to formulate my own opinions because I'm really trying to nitpick in these type of videos. If I forget any information, I will always have it in the description box below as well as the prices and the shades, even though they're both the same, $39 and light medium sand. Um, but you know, just in case you're in the stores and you don't want to hear me talk and you just want to look into the description, it's going to be there for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you all so much and I'll definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out Girl Scouts.